Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing fine. So today is another one of those crazy, crazy hot days in Taipei. Uh, and actually, it's finally time for me to do a video on a subject that I know a lot of things about. Before I became a YouTuber, actually, I worked as an engineer back in Sweden. And my dream at that time was to provide the world with clean and renewable energy. All of that changed after I fell in love with a Taiwanese girl and I decided to throw away all of that and move to Taiwan, start a totally new life here as a YouTuber. However, in today's video I decided to go back to my old career because I was invited by Taiwan Power Company to come and take a look at their renewable energy sources and for me, you know, as a renewable energy engineer by heart, this is very, very exciting. Taiwan currently has a very ambitious goal of reaching 20% of renewable energy before 2025. And 30% of this will be wind power and about 70% will be solar power. One of the first things you notice as a renewable energy engineer in Taiwan is that a very big part of the scooter traffic here is actually electric scooters. So I thought that like a good start of today's video can be to drive to the Taiwan Power Company's Energy Research Center using one of these electric scooters. So da -da -da -da. In Taiwan, about 20% of the new scooters made are electric and this is better for the environment as long as the electricity is produced in a renewable way. Taiwan Power Research Institute and here they're researching a lot a lot of different kind of energy and here actually we're gonna especially take a look at one very important kind of technology. Okay so we went into one of these big containers now and it looks very very high tech like the matrix or maybe it looks like there's a lot of computers here but actually all of these are batteries that the reason why you need batteries when you have a lot of renewable energy is that if you have a solar panel, for example, and you generate electricity, but then there comes a cloud, so it doesn't get so sunny, and then you don't get so much electricity from the solar panel. But of course, everyone still wants to use electricity, so then you use this battery to use a lot of electricity from the battery, and then when the cloud goes away and the solar panel can generate electricity again, you can charge up the battery again. The best thing about this battery is that there is uh, AC air condition inside of here, so it's very, very comfortable. This is a little bit of a different kind of battery because this is called a flow battery and it's a little bit more like long term for example if you have a very sunny day like today when it gets very hot and the solar panel generates a lot, lot of electricity then you can store it in this kind of battery during the day. And then for example in the evening when people come home again, then they can, this battery can provide a lot of electricity back to the grid. And now we're gonna go and take a look at the very, very impressive solar power plant for generating electricity. So now we are here in Chongbin Solar Power Plant that is owned by the Taiwan Power Company. And the solar panels that we can see here behind me is about enough to power this house that is controlling the big solar power plant. Now I'm gonna show you guys a much bigger solar power. power plant that we can see behind me is about 100 megawatt and is really really gigantic actually it's the same as 130 hectare with 200 football fields and the challenge for Taiwan right now is to increase the amount of renewable energy to about 20 percent and solar power is going to be one of the most important things so in Sweden we also have a lot of solar power but usually we put them like small uh, small things on the roof Another very impressive thing to me is that it's actually right next to a bird habitat so we can see it is very environmentally friendly. I'm not sure if you guys can hear but actually I can hear a lot of birds here so I will also show you guys how the uh, little bird habitat is looking. Every one of these modules is 
295 watt and then how many do we need to get 100 megawatt we need actually 340,000 modules so what we can see here is 340,000 just like this one and for me it's very very impressive because as i say in sweden usually we have like smaller installations as an engineer this is by far the biggest solar power plant i have ever seen in my whole life when you build this solar power plant uh, was there any problem or any challenge in this area we, in, we have a sealant wind yeah you can carry some sand Oh, and okay. uh, in Taiwan we have the typhoon problem. Mm, yeah, also I felt the wind is really yeah, strong yeah, here. It's a little wind yeah. too, yeah. I know the government wants to make 20% renewable, yeah. right? So is there any other project in renewable energy in Taiwan? We have a new project in Thailand about the capacity about 150. Mm. It's a big, big, big one. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for answering my question. My pride, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it was very, very interesting for me today to kind of go back to my old career a little bit and see a lot of solar panels and wind power and battery and all these kind of things. And I think also in the future, you know, if I get tired of being a YouTuber or people don't want to watch my video anymore, uh, I can definitely also go back to this kind of career because for me it's, it's very, very interesting. And if you guys also want to see more of this kind of videos, please feel free to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, also feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.